Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from Pocketnow.com. The Samsung Galaxy Note is an awesome phone. It's got that huge screen, it's got a dual core 1.4 GHz Exynos processor, and it's got pretty good battery life to boot. The problem with the Galaxy Note is that it's running TouchWiz. Well, what if you want stock ice cream sandwich? Better yet, what if you want something better than stock ice cream sandwich, like Cyanogen Mod 9? Well, it's ready for use. In this video, I'm going to show you Cyanogen Mod 9 on the Samsung Galaxy Note. Let's get to it. So this is still technically an alpha, but every bug that I've found in previous versions of Cyanogen Mod 9 Alpha for the Galaxy Note have been worked out. So this is good enough, plenty fast enough to use as your daily driver. And you get all of the cool stuff of Ice Cream Sandwich, the look and the feel of raw Android, plus a lot of really cool enhancements uh, provided by Cyanogen Mod 9. So let's talk about what we have here. This is the stock Ice Cream Sandwich experience. We're going to dump into the settings in a second. Just want to show you that this is indeed the look and feel of Ice Cream Sandwich as Google intended it. And there's actually a really cool piece of functionality with the stylus. Of course, we don't get all of the S Pen applications, but you can can still use the stylus and interestingly if you can see that let me zoom in a little bit on the screen the pointer a pointer actually shows up on the screen uh, even if you're not touching the screen I'm not touching the screen right now so you can still use the stylus to move around um, it's kind of a novelty at this point you can download some handwriting applications and it will work and you get the mouse pointer but all in all the functionality is pretty much gone because you don't have the S Pen widgets and so forth Anyway, let's go into the settings and take a look at some of the stuff we get with Cyanogen Mod 9. We get the Trebuchet Launcher, which allows you to do all kinds of fun stuff with the home screen. For example, you can set uh, the grid on the home screen, or the number of home screens, which you, you can't do in stock ice cream sandwich. You can change the grid size, so you can really take advantage of the Galaxy Note's high-res screen. For example, uh, if we go back home, you'll see that I've got a grid set up so that I can fit a ton of icons, whereas stock ice cream sandwich or on TouchWiz, you only can have like 16, 20 icons, whatever it is. We'll jump back into settings, and by the way, here's the stock ice cream sandwich multitask UI, and it works just like it does on any other stock ice cream sandwich device. So let's go back into the launcher and see what else we can do here. Tons of settings. We can enable the persistent search bar or turn it off if you just don't like the look of that. We can resize any widget, which is super fun. We can scroll wallpaper. The list goes on and on, on and on. We can have a transition effect with the app drawer. And finally, there are some general settings such as auto rotate screen. Other things that you can customize, typical for Cyanogen Mod, is themes and some system settings. Uh, we can change, for example, the status bar up here. We can show the clock or not show the clock, which is cool. We can have the battery uh, status show up. I have it kind of low on battery there. We can have an icon that just has an icon, or we can have it hidden altogether. If you don't care about battery life and you don't want to be watching it the whole time, you can just remove it altogether. And if you also don't want to have the, uh, the signal up there to show how many bars you have, you can take that off. But... Um, I kind of have that hidden. I kind of like the clean look up there. And there are some other things you can do. There are also some performance settings down here that is at, that has been added with Cyanogen Mod. Uh, we can change the CPU speed, which is kind of fun. So built-in CPU uh, adjuster thing. That's probably not the right term. So we can change the CPU governor to performance and have it run at 1400 megahertz the whole time. This will kill your battery, but it's kind of fun to see how fast the phone uh, runs I'm going to put on demand, which scales it up and down. Let's take a look at web browsing performance here um, in Cyanogen Mod 9. So we're going to go into the browser, the totally stock ice cream sandwich browser experience. Let's go over to Engadget.com, a long web page. We get the stock ice cream sandwich keyboard. Everything's stock. It's just, uh, it's great. Stock plus a little bit more because you get that um, Cyanogen Mod 9 features. So we're going to look at the mobile site. Really, really snappy performance here in the browser. Even though this is still an alpha, this thing flies, and it just feels really good in the browser. Uh, so we can zoom in. Text clears up very quickly, and you get that beautiful view because the screen is so big on this phone. And all other apps work. Uh, previously, the camera didn't work right. YouTube didn't work. All of these things have been fixed in the latest alpha. Your phone has to be rooted, of course. And once you root your phone, it's very easy to swap ROMs on this phone. There are some other cool ROMs out there. We'll put up some links to XDA developers where you can go to get this ROM. Um, 
And once you get it, it's easy to install. So again, as long as you're rooted and you'll all be off and running with stock ice cream sandwich, with, which feels a lot faster on the Samsung Galaxy Note. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and thanks for watching. That's it for now.